Day in the enchanted garden. Ha! Ah, there goes Train. I wonder what important journey he's going on today. <laughs> you know, Train, this picture of the magic roundabout was painted during the French Renaissance. It's priceless and it's hundreds of years old. <laughs> I tell you, the sooner it's under lock and key, the better. <laughs> <sighs> Wake me up when we get to the Enchanted Garden Museum train. <laughs> Aha! So Mr. Rusty intends to lock away a beautiful painting of the Magic Roundabout, does he? I don't think so. <laughs> Day of my exhibition has finally arrived. Visitors will soon be flocking in to see my fascinating collections, my ancient train timetables, my extraordinary gravel collection, and my as yet unseen collection of extremely interesting old spoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't want to go to Brian's boring exhibition. I don't care two hoots about his ancient train timetable collection. Lucky Mr. Rusty. He's taken himself off on train for the day. Wow. It's like the dude skipped town. No, Dylan. Mr. Rusty's opening a museum of art in the Enchanted Garden. Ooh, a museum is an excellent idea. We have so much magic roundabout culture to preserve. Couldn't we start with Brian's boring gravel collection? We could stick that in the museum, then we'd never have to see it again. You're being very selfish, Dougal. You wouldn't like it if I said your bones were boring. <laughs> That's because my bones are not boring, Florence. And that's exactly how Brian feels about his precious things. Which is why we have to go to his exhibition whether we like it or not. <sighs> OK, you win, Florence. Though I hope we won't have to stay long. I might pop in later if I'm not too busy. Bye! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might like go... Uh... <sighs> what a lot of grumpy people. After hearing all those complaints, I know exactly what to do with this lovely painting. <laughs> <laughs> My classical string quartet music is playing nicely. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Hum, hummus, hum, hum, hummus, hum. No! Where did that come from? <laughs> My first visitors. What am I going to tell them? I told you it was a waste of time. No, I, uh, oh, oh, oh. Ryan, dear, what's the matter? You're ill? <laughs> you need to rest? <laughs> oh, we'll go. Dude, oh, there's a thing over there. It doesn't belong here. What thing, Brian? <laughs> Wow! It's the original painting of the Magic Roundabout. How on earth did you get hold of it, Brian? I didn't. You never mentioned that you had a masterpiece in your exhibition. That's because I didn't know, Dougal. Are you trying to tell me it just dropped out of the sky, Brian? It certainly doesn't belong to me. <gasps> people might think I stole it. Don't be silly, Brian. Of course people won't think you stole it. There's got to be a logical explanation. But I don't know how it got here, Florence. I don't care where the painting came from. This is the best exhibition that you've ever had, Brian. And I'm going to make sure that everybody gets to know about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are we there already, Train? Oh, 
Where's the painting gone? It was right here when I fell asleep. Stop, train! Oh, oh, oh. oh, we've got to go back, train. The magic roundabout masterpiece. It's disappeared. <laughs> I tell you, Ermintrude, it's the original work in oils. <laughs> Ridiculous! <laughs> it's probably a tacky old copy he found in a dustbin. If you don't believe us, go and see for yourself. Come on, Florence, we're wasting our time here. Let's go and tell Dylan. Hmm. Maybe I will drop into Brian's exhibition after all. How could I have lost the most precious painting in the whole of the Enchanted Garden? Wake up, Dylan! <laughs> uh, what's up? <laughs> we are at the centre of groundbreaking news, Dylan. The entire art world will soon be flocking to the Enchanted Garden. Well, man, have they heard about my, like, ginormous carrot crop? We are not talking about root vegetables, Dylan. We're talking about a work in oils from the time of the French Renaissance. Uh, what? <gasps> Brian has a very beautiful painting in his garden, Dylan. Oh, man, I hope he won't be playing his twanging violin music. It, like, does my head in. Helen! <laughs> you are not missing Brian's exhibition, Dylan. I'm coming. OK, then. I'll go and tell Mr Rusty, Dougal. Florence was right. You naughty snail, Brian. Never letting us in on your wonderful secret. I was only made aware of the painting when Florence and Dougal arrived. It was rather a nasty shock. Shock? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, Brian. It's a huge privilege to see such a masterpiece. Come on, chop, chop. Man, I... Quick sticks. <laughs> Have that tea. <laughs> so what do you think, Dylan? Like... It, it really reminds me of something familiar. I'll give you a clue, Dylan. It's something you see every day and goes round and round. Hmm? Uh... uh... <laughs> Trey! <laughs> stop! Oh. Mr Rusty, I've got something wonderful to show you. I'm sorry, Florence. Whatever it is, I'm not in the mood. I've just lost... This will only take five minutes, and I promise you, it's an experience that will change your life forever. Oh, five minutes. Uh, and no more, Florence. If I'd known you were dragging me along to look at Brian's gravel collection, I'd have said no right away, Florence. There's far more to Brian's big exhibition than meets the eye, Mr Rusty. Yeah, well, I can... Come on! Oh. There! <gasps> How did that get here? Nobody seems to know, Mr Rusty. Least of all, Brian. Hmm. <laughs> it's the very same painting I was transporting on train. It mysteriously disappeared whilst I was sleeping. So how did it get in my garden? Could there be, like, millions of them hanging around out there, man? Absolutely not, Dylan. It is a unique painting. So, we have a priceless work of art which mysteriously disappears only to reappear in Brian's exhibition. Hmm. Zebedee? You called, Florence? Would you by any chance know anything about the disappearance of a priceless painting of the magic roundabout, Zebedee? Priceless paintings? I think not, Florence. Zebedee? Well... I might have borrowed it for a second or two, but only to enhance the glories of Brian's big exhibition. You most certainly achieved that result, Zebedee. The whole village has come to see it. Hmm. I think you should apologise to Mr Rusty right away, Zebedee, and return the painting to train <laughs> immediately. Oh, you can be a spoil sport at times, Florence. I'm serious, Zebedee. Apologies, Mr Rusty. All in a good cause, you understand. Well, that's all very well, Zebedee, but now I've got to get the painting to the museum for safekeeping. Let me assist you, Mr Rusty. <laughs> oh, relieved as I am to see the painting go, 
I feel sure I shall never again have quite so successful an exhibition. You can say that again, Brian. Oh. <laughs> you know, there was something about that painting that I can't quite, like, put my finger on, man. <laughs> I've got it! Ah. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's time to party! <laughs> 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 Just for you, I'm waiting for you. Just for you.